Hey, today we are starting reminding of a new alternator with our facility. It's a two feet AVS Stanford alternator. It's 2008 model. Uh, it's been running from past eight years perfectly fine. And uh, it met with an accident today. Uh, the winding seems to be blown up. Uh, so this is how it was from the outside. A typical Stanford alternator with uh, four supply cables, three phases and a neutral and the jumps being bought outside. So typically they don't have any jumps internally within the winding. All the windings, all the jumps, all the leads are bought outside. And uh, from external point of view, it looks perfectly fine. Uh, but when you see at the top side, top corner, you'll see that a section of it is blown up. Uh, section of the winding is blown up. Though it's a single coil, uh, nothing can be done other than rewinding the entire section of the stator. And so, this entire section of the stator winding, stator will go through rewinding process in the next couple of days to come. Um, one of the prime suspect uh, that's been uh, identified is the uh, contents of rats. Though I don't want to touch it, I'm sure you can see contents of um, animal uh, mass around. So, that seems to be one of the primary suspect of this fault. Uh, yeah, so I'll be walking you through the next couple of series how this entire state will be rewound by us uh, and what's the approach that we follow. Thank you. Thanks for listening to me. Yeah, this is the next phase of uh, our winding process. Uh, it's currently going through analysis. Uh, we just disbanded the connection side of it to make a note of uh, the existing connection so that we can put back the same connection. And uh, currently the recordings are going on, so we are observing the pedals, the terminals, and making a note of it so that uh, when we put the connections back, uh, we get the terminals for the same pedals and terminals again back. We don't want to disturb anything existing because uh, once it goes to the service side, uh, the terminals have to be same because uh, when they connect to the output load, it will be based on the terminal uh, numbers. So we are making a recording project right now to make sure that when the winding is done, the ferrules on the terminals match whatever the existing was there. The next part is to start disbanding the entire winding and then uh, continue with the uh, winding process. So we'll continue in the next one. Yeah, so you saw two days ago that the slots were clean. Today we are winding the coils for it. And the winding is almost like 95% complete. So this is a coil winding machine. So you can see five coils are being wounded and it's coming through the tensioner. Okay? It has to come through the tensioner, then you have the bombings at the back of it. So it's 10 wires in parallel. So there are 10 wires that we use and uh, the coil is getting prepared. So as I said, we are almost like 90% uh, of the winding is done. Each coil is being seated right now. So this is on the other side of the winding. So this is almost like 90% done. We have another three more hours to go. So winding is under construction right now. So from this side, these are all the insulation materials being used. And, uh, the same thing. We have leads which are very long. They run all the way to the terminal. The terminal is this side. So this is this side. So all the leads have to go all the way to the terminal. There are no jumps. All the jumps are done on the other part of the terminal. Uh, all the leads go to the uh, go outside the alternator. So the winding is in process, it's almost took like two days to complete this much. We still have another four more hours of work, then we should be all done. Thanks for listening. Yeah, so uh, yesterday you guys saw that uh, we had 90% of the winding done. So today you can see that uh, we are almost 100% done. And uh, we also completed the connection. All the connection leads have uh, gone out. So it's the initial stages of connection. We are buying this still, and uh, all the leads are gone out right now. So it has been brought to terminal block. So one of the peculiarity of Sta Stanford is we have to get the leads, finish the connection, then only do the binding. So you can't do a binding and then do the connection because it will lead to problems later on because uh, you will have a shortage of terminal leads and it will not be up to the mark. So we did a good job of uh, marking the leads. We put all the faces leads in uh, black color and the ones which come towards the jump we made as a red color.
So the neutral is also marked as uh, black, black flesh. So we use the same petals with the standard uh, the Stamford hat just to make sure that uh, the client is familiar with these petals and he continues to use the same marking while he's con connecting to the terminal cable. So this is how it looks from the terminal point of view. Uh, I'll just show on the other side of it. So here is the other part of it. So again, as I said, the winding is complete. The winding is complete, and uh, the entire uh, uh, each set of the coil is separated by separators. Uh, five set of five set of coils. We're not done the binding this side. We will start the binding once the connection testing, all the approvals are done. So, so currently testing is going on. Testing is going on, and. Uh, Typically we have uh, three rounds of testing, one is uh, MIGUR testing, other one is a high voltage testing. Uh, so right now we are doing a flashing uh, high voltage test. You can see it's been uh, clocked at 2.5 kilo volts. Uh, we are doing a face to, this is a face and we are doing a earth. So that's a earth point, ground to face testing is what we are trying to do. So that's for face uh, testing that's going on. Yeah, so that's what is going on currently. Yeah. So we have done the ground to face testing. All the three, all the three windings seem to have withstood till 2.5 kilo volts. Uh, usually people test up to 1. Point, sorry, 2 kilo volts. We are taking it up to 2.5 kilo volts because this is Stanford. Uh, just want to make sure that we have some extra quality. Here. Yeah, so right now we are done with uh, face to ground testing. It is successful. We are doing a flash test for face to face just to make sure there is no uh, earth, uh, sorry, separator leakage or there is no shorting between the separators. This one, yeah, yeah. So it's the testing is again for the same 2.5 kilo volts. You can see a leakage current of only less than 5 milliamps. Uh, let's do the next phase. Next phase. Next phase. Next phase. So again, if there's any tripping, you would not hear the continuous beep sound. There would have been a tripping noise. So we're not. We are good there. So we'll go on to the next phases. Next phases. So we are doing the next phases. Just want to validate it, it's all working fine. And you can see the neutral cable on this side. That is this and this and this. The neutral cables are dismantled so that we can do a face-to-face -face testing. And it's working fine. You can see a 5 milliamp, the same thing next. So it's all testing is going on smoothly so far so we have gone through high voltage test high voltage test is successful and it's passed and uh, it's successful uh, we also do we also record our uh, uh, readings so that we can share it with our customers so this is our uh, test result sheet uh, we are doing a recording of the data that we have found so that we can pass it down to them and uh, make sure that uh, they also understand we are done our testing. So I am just entering the data right now. Uh, it's 2.5 kilo volts. They already know it's 2.5 kilo volts. And uh, all of them are uh, flashed up to 10 milliamps. So I am going to put 10 milliamps as a reading for most of them. So that's what I will do for all the other ones. done the testing for uh, the resistance, uh, micro ohm resistance across the faces. We have done the recording of it. And, uh, this is how the sheet looks like. I know it's bright, it's reflective. I'll try to capture most of uh, it. It's really reflective, I'm sorry. Uh, we have different sheets. We uh, prepare the sheet and pass it down to the client. So we'll move on to the next phase of our testing. Uh, so we'll move on with the testing and then uh, we'll do one more round of resistance testing. Uh, so this is the micro ohms resistance meter that we are using right now to take the recordings of the windings. It has to be balanced. Uh, plus or minus 10 percent is what's allowed, acceptable. So we're going to follow the same thing. Uh, so that's one part of the testing. So 
and yeah we also use a mega which is 2.5 kilo volts rated i can see it's uh, 2.5 kilo volts rated here yeah 2.5 kilo volts you flash up to 2.5 kilo volts since uh, the flash test already has passed through mega test should not have any problem but we already done the mega testing so uh, i'm uh, and it has passed through also successfully so that's about testing so we have gone through testing uh, we completed test testing phase of it we have finished the connection part of it the next part of it i have to do is uh, pole testing i'll make sure that the connection pole testing is done so that we just check the polarity make sure that the polarity of the connections is right uh, whenever we assemble we want to make sure the north south poles of each face is being formed properly within the stator otherwise you will have a problem with the connection and the stator sorry the the output voltage will not be equal so that's the next part of it so thanks for listening bye fine that i was trying to show the map kodu it has na nee pudichu send card and a card in the last two days last two days ago okay start mandana took the voltage readings now we're doing a fine Hey good morning. Uh this is where the 250 kV alternator uh we've been winding from past uh, one one of week has finally come and then uh, rested in peace. Um you can see that's the caterpillar engine. Uh it's, it's it's basically the customer is is a huge construction company in Bangalore. So for their side they're using this uh DG set. Uh it's been installed inside uh the caterpillar engine box the, the caustic enclosure. So we are here to uh, see how it went on last night. Um, they did a load test for two hours. Uh, then uh, it was at uh, 100 hp load, which is 50 percent of the load for the entire uh, DG. So uh, we just want to get the report. And uh, today is a day wherein uh, it's scheduled to go on for a full load test of eight hours. Uh, once this passes through these two tests, uh, we should be good on our bills. So it's a great day and a wonderful start for us now. Yeah. um let's see how things go on the next part of it um, um uh, we should be able to see how we can carry on this relationship with uh, this big customer thanks for listening to me